retribution. I'm your unsettled debt. My name is Vengeance. Someone sent me for you. My name is Corrado. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those that abide by the law, and those that don't. For those that abide by the law, you have collection agencies, courts, jails, and rules. For those that don't, you have me. When someone doesn't pay their bills in your world, they get a phone call. Maybe a letter. When you don't pay your bills in my world, I pay you a visit. If you really upset someone, no one ever sees you again. People think that they can just call the cops and everything will be okay. This gives them the idea they can go back on agreements they've made. Their unfulfilled promises are the bounce checks of my world. They usually change their minds when I'm done with them. Of course, unless their mind is laying in a pool on the floor. Am I supposed to feel bad for these people? Because I do. They choose their fate when they choose to deal with those outside the law. They've got no one to blame but themselves. And once you step outside the law, you can never go back. In my world, I'm the hand of God. Say hello? Yogurt rub roasted chicken with red pepper sauce. Now that sounds good. Coffee black. Sure thing. Oh, Charlie, what the fuck? Nice suit, Frankie. Way to keep the stereotype of Italians going on. What do you want? 30 grand. I'm listening. Clint Zella. And? Clint Zella, the guy who decided he doesn't need Benelli anymore. What is this, Jeopardy, Frankie? I give you the answer, you give me the question. Can't really, can't really talk here, Charlie. I understand. Paper dry clean for that grease, Frankie. Hmm? Here's a deposit. It's 30 grand. Three times the normal rate. What's Mr. Zeller need? Fucking two more. He owes Benelli big time and it won't pay up. Plus, it's been closing up to spin That's it? That's it. Hey, Del. Give him a piece of pie, will you? Take care of the check, Frankie. Thank you.
Who the fuck are you? Hold on, hold on. Is that right to you? It sounds like shit. I know. I just got this, too. Oh, I'm the entertainment. Hold the mics up the block, fuck face. This is my time, so why don't you hit it, okay? Ken! What the fuck is this? Ken? Ken! Huh. I don't know. Maybe she's taking a shit. Can I ask questions? When are you gonna have Benelli's money? Benelli, you mother Benelli's money, you cocksucker. Is that what this is about, huh? Yeah. Tell Benelli I don't have his fucking money. When I get it, he gets it. Okay? Now you can do me the favor by getting the fuck out of here. Cocksucker. Let's go look for you. Black socks, towel. All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave. Before I do, this is my lady, this is Teresa. She wants to say hello. Does that work for you? <coughs> or I come back with the whole band. Copy? Oh, Chalutes, what's what? Can I, uh... No. Where's the rest of the money for Zeller, Frankie? I'll have to count this. Take it all to my mother. Your mom died five years ago. Good boy. Trust me. It's good. So, uh, thanks for meeting me uh, here, but what's up with this place? Because these guys, they keep a secret. Because you're so fucking nervous in public. Because I want to spend less than five minutes with you. Okay, okay, I get it. Four minutes, 30 seconds, Frankie. I got a big one for you this time. Why do you always do that? That fucking thing you do. You get done talking, you take this long pause, like there's a big dramatic moment coming up. Just fucking spit it out, please. Benelli, he wants you to uh, hit Victoria Spinello. <laughs> You're fucking good to me. Don't laugh. Just listen to me, all right? This guy is like 85 years old, okay? He's bound to a wheelchair. This is gonna be easy. Spinello. Has armed guards around him 24 7. And guess what? They aren't in wheelchairs. 500 grand. Just think what you could do with 500,000 Scott Oles, Charlie. It's a lot of money. Maybe you're right. Really? No, not really. It's a fucking suicide mission, you asshole. Those guys will hunt me down and find me. That's why he's got to be clean, Charlie. Real clean. He's 85 years old. They won't even suspect a thing. Do the old pillow thing. Make it look like a heart attack. First of all, Frankie, how the fuck am I going to get in? And second of all, after I do the hit, how the fuck am I going to get out? I got an easy way in and an easy way out. You do the quick skidansky. Oh, like a quick Skidansky? Why don't you fucking do it then? That's what I thought. Give me 
a deposit. Now get the fuck out of my face. Five minutes are up. Tommaso, this is this is this, this uh, mm -hmm. gal. How well have you checked her out? Hey, we checked her. I wouldn't worry about it. Look, you got to leave it alone. Your father's could be fine. He can't even take a shit by himself. I'm not leaving it alone. Why don't we get someone from the family? Because no one in this family has the medical knowledge. Oh, fuck medical knowledge. Come on. Fuck it. Fuck medical knowledge. To handle the situation, we need a real nurse. Right. Right. Medical knowledge is over. He's dying. Right. I mean, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I just. I'm tired. I've been away. Too long, Tomas. Now listen to me. I've worked for your father a long time. I would never do anything to hurt him or have him hurt, okay? okay? This is a real nurse. This is a qualified nurse. We checked her out a thousand times. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, though. I see my father and... I don't want to see my father in that condition. Well, no one does. Anyway, this fucking magic cake is... I just keep thinking, why not one of our own? It's too late now. Here comes the magic gig. Let the bitch in. <clears throat> Hello, Julia. Hello. Welcome. This is uh, Paolo. This is Vittorio's son. He just flew in from Las Vegas. Hello, Mr. Spinello. It's very nice to meet you. Sir, so, can I get you in? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. The reason I called this meeting is for me to introduce you to Paolo. He has some questions for you about his father. Sure. Huh. Oh. No, actually, I... I just wanted to meet you and ask you to take good care of my, my pop. Oh, of course, Mr. Spinello. He really does need to live in with his Parkinson's so advanced, and I'm going to take good care of him for you. Also, Mr. Voltieri, can I provide you with a list of equipment and supplies I'm going to need? I think we're going to need some more gear. How much gear? I'm going to need a monitor to check his vitals for my room, as well as a sling to bathe them, and a few other odds and ends. Okay, just make a list and I'll get it to you right away. Okay. Mr. Spinello, have you any more questions for me? I wish I did, but I don't. Not yet. Nice to meet you. If nothing else, gentlemen, get back to my patient. Okay. What do you think? I want to fuck her. But I'm not gonna. I have self-restraint. <laughs> She's for my father. Buy somebody else. Oh, fuck it. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> Trouble. 
made me a couple of sandwiches. Yeah, sandwiches with fucking meat on them. And some cheese, a variety. And a couple of people that aren't like me. Do you know what I mean? Do you like, so wait, wait, wait. Do you like the nurse? <laughs> Which, who? Oh, that bitch? Yeah. I don't know yet. I ain't fucked her. Sound and you're dead. What? I said, shh. Come here. Get down right there. Who are you? Fears. You take care of this piece of shit? Ellos, huh? I just gotta 
job as a referral from nursing school. They were wonderful to me the three days I was there. I'm, I'm sure they were. I'm sure they were. But, you know, when you see people walk around the place with buns and guards, maybe you think maybe this is a fucking real estate agent. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't give a fuck if you do or not, okay? This is going to happen. I'm dropping you off. Shut your fucking mouth off. Put the portion on the fucking paper right there. Right? Did you get the plate? I'm gonna get the fucking plate. It's pitch dark. Fucking Louie, you suck. What good are you to power a life? Fuck out of here. This is bullshit. I just stepped in fucking dog shit. I moved straight to the Spinellos. Maybe I should go to the police. Maybe you should. And here's what you tell them. You tell them you're working for Spinello. And out of nowhere, this man comes in the room and puts two in his head. And you being a fucked up girl that you are, you decide to leave with him. They'll love that. Good luck to you. Son of a bitch. Yep. What am I gonna do? I don't know. You can't just leave me here. I have nowhere to go. It's all of my instincts. Get in. Keep your fucking mouth shut. Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I thinking? Okay. Was she in on it? No, you know what? We, we don't know yet. She, what? She was in the room. She was in on it? Was she in on it? She was in the room. Uh, who does he work for? You're shitting me. What'd you say? Uh, who does he work for? This motherfucker? Benelli! Benelli, you dumb motherfucker! Paolo. What? Calm down. We all try to. Well, we don't get it. Come on, we don't get it either. Benelli has always hated my father. Always! He could not let the man die in peace. Some dignity. She's in a fucking whore over here. And her fatty boy with And they killed him in his own goddamn bed. Tommy fell for her. He ate out of me for the horror of my bullshit. Put that fucking whore in my goddamn mouth. I'll put a monster in my shoulder. Yes, but. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! What? Okay. Now, don't tell me what to do. Don't. Okay. I'm gonna be the first to extend my condolences. Okay. Um. Thanks. Okay, you guys. Um. Listen up. Um. These are my guys. Yeah. This is Salvatore. He came in from Vegas to help us out with our problem. Gentlemen. Who did the hit? It was Corrado Messina. I saw him with my own eyes. Yeah, he's a bad motherfucker. That's how they go. Well, yeah. Hey, what are you guys talking about? What, what the fuck? What's your problem? You've been known hard in Vegas, Paul. But Messina is bad news. Huh? Yeah, it's been on this guy. Who's his handler? Usually, Fat Frankie don't offer you. We gotta watch for Corrado. 
to be a motherfucker. You know this guy. I've been looking for him. Why ain't you found him? They don't give me that confidence. What about the girl? What's her name? It's uh, Julia Teague. What do we know about Cut number three, Lena? You know, we don't really know shit. I mean, she moved out here from Nebraska, you know? She's got no family here. She's got no residence. Nebraska? Yeah. Nebraska? Yeah. Is that the United States? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. Is it a state? It is, it is. Is it a state? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like in the middle. <laughs> in the middle of what? <laughs> <laughs> he planted her in your own home. Yeah, no shit. This fucking Nebraskan whore in my house. Motherfucker. Listen to me. Now you go find him. You bring him back to me, okay? To me. Alive. You know why? Because I'm gonna kill both of them. I'm gonna kill Miss Nebraska and her faggot Cornhusker boyfriend. Okay? Go find him. Who knows where to find Fat Frankie? I do. Let's start there. Hey, I'll be right with you, okay? Wait out there. Thanks. Hey, look. I don't know this guy that well, okay? You know, like, not something? Kill him. Do what you want. Hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's dumb, but he's my baby. Why are we driving back to LA? I'm supposed to be running away from them. Well, we are driving back to LA because I couldn't drop you off at the truck stop. That's why we are going back to LA. Well, I'm still going to the police, I hope you know. Good for you. You got a name? Yeah. Well, I'm Julia. Julia Teague. Nice to meet you, Julia Teague. And you are? Call me Charlie. It's nice to meet you, Charlie. Right in front of me. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't supposed to shoot him. Oh, I get it. So he'd be there in the morning, and I'd take the rap. Nice. Really fucking nice. I know you're gonna be there. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. So, what I do now? Well, if I were you, I'd go stay with some relatives. They live in Nebraska. All right, so then if I were you, I'd go stay in Nebraska. Why? Because you'll be safe there. It's got your arms small, man. You're just a man. It's the fucking car. Probably just blow off the lower portion of your jaw. Your nose, your tongue, 
all your fucking teeth. Or you'd live. Or you'd definitely live. I'll give you the address, please. I'm telling you the truth. The Smith and Wesson 500 has got a way of separating the truth from the lie. I got a wife, I got kids. Please don't do it. The please. velocity of this round's not too fast. It's about 1,650 feet per second, but it is traveling over 440 degrees. I'll go with you. I'll go with you, please! You're fucking lying. I will discharge this entire cylinder into non critical parts of your body. You will die the slowest, most painful death possible. You understand me? Yeah. Keep begging. Let's move. Fucking kill him. Come on, he's got a car. He's a rocky dick. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. Get Frankie out of here. Good stuff. Get him a power Got him. He's here. Get him in quietly. I don't want any commotion. You join Frankie. Get on your feet. Yeah, but it's been like forever. He's got to be hard to us. So where'd he go? Hmm? Where the fuck did he go? Fuck. Is she a woman? No. I'm eating a drink. There's a cooler back there. Help yourself. I don't want to freak around, but you know, I got problems outside.
Rouse up everybody in the building if we have to. Mr. Messina is on the premises. You want I call Brooklyn? Yeah, call Brooklyn. But Carmelo, no explosions till I give the word. Check. <laughs> yeah. How many people did you say? I saw maybe uh, two inside, maybe one or two outside. What do you need? I think you know what I need. Uh, I got the solution. Who is this guy? He's a friend of mine. He's gonna take care of us. Trust me. Please, stay here. Don't move. You'll be safe with me, I promise you. Okay? Okay. Massimo, meet me in the hall. Fuck me! It's the girl, she's outside, you wait here! Get the fuck out of here. Just send someone to get me. Sal, you're joking, right? Salvatore, tell me the fuck. You did what? I don't believe this. Go on, tell me, it's me. Oh, come on, you're bullshitting me. I can't fucking believe this. He took out all your guys and stole your fucking car. It, it's not like that. It's not quite like that? Well, what the fuck's it like? That's what you just told me. Huh? You steal your fucking wallet, too? You drunk or asleep? Both? Fuck you.
Detective Johnson. Hey, Officer Tony. Oh, hello, Mr. Spinello. Look, um, I got a problem um, uh, with this cunt from Nebraska. I'm sorry to hear that. What can I do for you? Well, I want you to find her and bring her back to me. Well, she's coming here? Well, I can't say for sure, but um, I got to cover all my bases on this one, you know? Uh, she may be headed back to Nebraska, and that's what I'd do if I was her, but um, you know, just do me a favor and put out the word, okay? And what's your name? Julia Teague. T-E-A-G-U-E from Nebraska. Julia Teague, Nebraska. Got it. Tony, don't let me down, okay? Yeah, of course not. I never have. No, you never have. Juanita. Oui. Thank you. I don't know what came over me. Jimmy's dead. Why'd you come back? Because I'm a nurse, Charlie. I don't do death. What you do for a living is a right. And you know what? You probably deserve to die for what you've done. But I'm not the judge of that. So I guess you get one more chance. It's a foreign concept to me. Another chance. To me, a chance means lucky. Well, maybe you should try it someday. What's this? Here, what's this? It's a gun. I'll be a solid bitch, right? You got a firm grasp of the obvious there, asshole. You obviously don't know what the fuck you're doing. Because they were right there. They were so close. You could... I can't fucking believe it. How could you fuck this up? It's not... Don't tell me. I want to know. I want to know. The losers lament. I woulda, I shoulda, I coulda. Now we got to pull out all the stops on these two. No! Frankie. Frankie's the piece of shit that ran us out. The greasy motherfucker. That's a little harsh. Oh, that's a little harsh. Frankie's the only person who would say us once besides me. Not even my own fucking boss, man. That motherfucker ran us out. He almost got us killed. He got fucking Jimmy killed. Maybe you should give him the benefit of the doubt. Fuck him. Fuck the benefit of the doubt. Kill everybody that's wronged you? I don't know. Maybe. Well, that's not reality, Charlie. It's my reality. Well, it doesn't have to be. That's what I've been saying all along. What do your friends think of this? Your family? I always watched the old man get dressed for work. A lot of kids' dads wore suits to work. But I always remember thinking, why was my pop always getting all dressed up to go out after dinner? One night seems like pop's business came to him. We were just saying bye to him as Fabrizio Gennaro pulled up with his crew. Three people died that night. 
my mom, my pop, and me. While the other kids were trading baseball cards, I was planning my first hit. Mr. Benelli, who Pop used to work for, who I now work for, gave me the tools. Los Angeles, California, TWA. That's correct. I reason to believe he will be here. I want his photo out to the checkpoints immediately. What are you going to tell him after he's apprehended? Who gives a shit? I'll tell him I fucked up and it wasn't the right guy. That's who's so speaking. Let's risk you letting down the Spinellos.
Jerusalem. And you do Cad, and you're Wilshire and Virgil, okay? Don't leave me, Charlie. I love you, I promise. Can't do Cad, and go to Wilshire and Virgil, okay? I can't do this, Charlie. You can do this. Look at me. You can do this, it's fine. silent. If you give up that right, so you helped knock off old Spinello. Are you kidding? I'm just a nurse. I had nothing to do with it. Is that why you ran away with Corrado? Fuck you. Wait till Mr. Spinello gets a hold of you. Sorry, didn't try to resist out there. I would have liked to send you to him in a body bag. I know how to pick my battles. What's that supposed to mean? It means when I get you both somewhere quiet, I'm gonna kill you. Shut the fuck up. Starting with you. Well, this doesn't exactly look like police headquarters. I said, shut the fuck up. <sighs> so, boys, when do I get my phone call? Oh, yeah. We'll make it for you right now, asshole. It's me. Yeah, we got him. Good. Great. Hey, Tony. Yeah? Who's guarding you? Well, I am. Fuck! No, me and Larry. Call for backup. <laughs> Sunshine, how you feeling? You up and at him? Fuck you. <laughs> That's funny. You know, a few moments ago, I was feeling the same way. I had this whole role reversal thing. Where's Larry? Oh, Officer Larry? Yeah, he couldn't make it. What's your name? Tony. Hello, Tony. How are you? Let me ask you a question. Where's Julia? Fuck! Fucking teeth! Oh, your teeth? Oh, come here, let me see, let me see. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Hey, guess what? Your teeth have the least of your worries. Where is she? Look, I don't know where they're taking her. Salvatore said he would send someone to pick you up. That's all I know. Sure. So give him a call. Now. Tony. Yeah, it's on the control. Is everything okay? It's on the control now. 
What do you mean it's under control? What's under control? Talk to me. Yeah, everything's fine. We just had a little, uh, a little altercation. He's knocked out now. I expect Antonio in about 15 minutes. Nice job, Officer Tony. It's good to know we have such fine people working for our police department. Now, where am I meeting Antonio? How do I know you won't kill me? You don't. He'll come around maintenance entrance 1F, driving a black Camry. Thank you so much, Officer Tony, for helping me out. I thought you said you wouldn't kill me. Okay. Call your superior. What? Call your superior. You're gonna make a little confession. Tell me what you're really working for. You don't have to. That's what I thought. Hello? Lieutenant Stevens? For Tony, load the fucker in the back seat. Get over there. I got a better idea. Why don't you drive me to Julia? Nice work, you half a more, and I thought you said you had it under control. Drop your weapons on the ground. <laughs> I ain't carrying. This is LAX, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, take it easy, man. I'm cool. Oh. Shut the fuck up. Get over there. Put them on the ground now. All your hardware. Oh, yeah, I see you were packing light today. Sorry. Sorry? Hmm? Open the trunk. Get in the fucking trunk. Oh, come on, man. I'm lost to focus. Get in the fucking trunk. Get in there. Look at me. Look at me. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna sit in the back seat. You make one left turn without using your turn signal, and they're gonna be mopping up your brains with the sponge. You got that? Good. Get in. Me. 
I never did anything to you. And you turned on me. Why did you turn on me? Huh? I didn't do anything to you. You lied to me. You lied to me. No, I didn't. <laughs> and you're, she's still lying to me. Not a bitch. <laughs> So you didn't let Corrado Messina into my house and you didn't help me kill my mother? No? No. Maya! She's unconscious. Huh? Really? Good. I mean, no big deal. Corrado and her. Corrado gets it, we'll kill them both together. I want that cunt awake when I kill her, okay? Do you really have to do that? What? 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 Oh, you're bullshitting me, right? What did you say to me, stop? Huh? You heard me. How dare you, motherfucker? How fucking dare you? You reprimanded me, you fucking prick. Who side are you on anyway? I just think you should kill her quick and get it over with. Really? Why beat up a woman like that? Because I wanted to. None of your goddamn business. What'd you say to me? Is that right? Well, listen to me, motherfucker. I'm deciding what's right and what's wrong on this motherfucker. I decide what's right and wrong around this motherfucker. Do you understand me? Huh? You get it? You understand me? Yes or no question, motherfucker. Do you understand me? Your father had more class in his little finger than you have in your entire body. Is that so? Huh? <coughs> hmm? Is that right? I served him faithfully for years. And I'll continue to serve you as I did him. You never do that to me again. Are we clear? We are clear. Nothing else? Nothing else. Then I'll be on my way. Be on your way, quickly. Miss Al. <laughs> like that? What do you think about that? The fuck out of here. stopping here because this is the place yes it is just go through that door and you walk across the shipping area it's in the back I swear you better hope so yep get out Hey, Officer Tony, wake up. Shit. But I want some company. No, Get in. Please, please, I, I can't breathe. Oh, no, God, I can't breathe. Shut the fuck up. You're fucking dead now, Joe. Well, big boy, I don't think you're in the best position to be speaking to me like that now, are you? How about we go toe to toe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would work out in my favor. Plus, I'm not really into this killing thing anymore. You have no choice. <sighs> 99 chum. Hey, bitch. <laughs> wow, huh? <laughs> hey. Get your 
little helper back, huh? She had nothing to do with this. Huh? Nothing. <clears throat> oh, come on, no? You both didn't plan to kill my father? Come on. I don't give a fuck what you think, Julia. Get over here now. Oh, how sweet. Bonnie and Clyde. Get out of here. Go. You're a good dog, too, huh? Hey, what's going on, man? What you waiting for? You gonna kill me, too? Wow, thanks. I mean, that's good for me, right? I don't want to die. No. I'm gonna make it my life's mission. You can count on this. I'm gonna make it my life's mission to track you down with the dog that you are and cut your fucking throat. Okay, big shot. That's good. We all need goals. <laughs> did, did you? What, 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 what was that? I said everybody was good. Your number's up. What? Sir, you have a phone call. A phone call? He knows we're here. He didn't say. The phone's in the kitchen. Hmm. I'll be right back. Fuck the waiter, though. Phone, anybody? To settle. We have a debt. You and I? Mm -hmm. What's that? You killed my father. Well, I've killed a lot of people. We 
che vola. Fabrizio Gennaro. gun him down on the porch. My mother. My mother had to resort to all kinds of things after that. All kinds of things. Be Charlie. I gotta avenge him. I wait my whole life for this moment. Thank you. 